Hello, you lovely ladies and gentlemen. I'm Azkrath, and we're back here in Endless Space as the Heat Show. Where last we left off, there's a bit of back and forth over here against the Vultures, with our war going on there. And we managed to make some more headway against the Blue Pilgrims, but we did have to break our lines with the Orange Pilgrims because they wanted peace with these guys. We don't want Horlem for ceasefire, but I'm going to refuse because at this point, I am seeing victory right now. And I will not back down from that victory until I have grasped it in my hands. Which may be able to force them to, like, full peace. No, they don't want to give me Pegasus. So, war it is. Basically, that's what's been going on. Once we finish off the Blue Pilgrims, we will swing around and go smash the Vultures with everything we got. And I'm sure all this means a great deal to two people who are watching because, well, not many people watch these videos. That's just how it goes. I've gotten used to it. But I need someone to ramble on to, to pretend like, you know, people care. Perhaps I'm just being too depressing, I don't know. But most of our planets seem happy, except for the ones we just conquered. Such is life, uh, we are under attack. But we will fight back against the hordes. Do they still have melee weapons? <sighs> the vultures are the real threat. They are basically the only threat left to me at this moment. That's because they just, they're so big. Like, especially in comparison to all the other factions, they're the second biggest faction, and I need to put a stop to them. I need to put an end to their threat. This is, uh, why I have not ended the war yet, why I have not made peace like the other pilgrims did. I want to finish off the current pilgrims and secure their territory for myself. Then I will make peace with the vultures and prepare for whatever comes after that fact, you know. Not so much that fact, but like, prepare for whatever war comes up against them next. That's just all there is to it, really. And I will let you watch along, watching the glory while I pretend like I'm also watching this, even though I'm not, because I'm a busy man, you know, and I got stuff to do. And, well, it's not like I can control these battles. So, really, I just need to wait for the results, and I'm doing this because I know you guys like the visuals of all this. At least I think you do. I, it's hard to tell. I don't know what people actually like about my videos and what they don't like. Which I guess is my fault entirely, but... Not much I can really do about it. Working things out. Best that I can. Best that I can. And we've won this fight. Good to see. Good to hear. In this time I have written up about a hundred words in a word document. Not that you would know that because you can't see that. Because I'm just that good. Now this is just silly. It's like, huh, I wonder how I will beat these two ships. This is, this is their scout ships. So I'm just going to go and blow them up and we don't need to see that. Boom, there you go. Easy. Not a threat to be seen. Nope. We will work on improvements. Actually, all this next bit's gonna be loading up improvements. But, okay, well, I didn't need to actually build that. I forgot. That's the uh, sensor platform thing. Since probably it's not actually all that useful considering we're located in our empire, but uh, don't tell them that I said that. They'll get annoyed with me. population. Well, looks like we got a fight in our hands here, boys.
Ah, oh well. It's fine. Uh, attack! You made it to pull out a couple ships. Try and fight me. Will it be enough? Well, we'll see about that. I certainly don't think so, considering the balance of power, but you know, it could be fun. I want to watch just to watch, just so we can see the death ride of the Pilgrim fleet. With this fleet destroyed, there's basically nothing that stands between us and their last planet, as far as I'm aware. I mean, they might have some more ships there, but they won't have a sizable fleet anymore. It's good to go out like these guys. These guys were weak. They were holding me back. Now I can truly get rid of them, end this war, the glory of my empire. So look, at all, look at the rain of gunfire pouring down on their fleet. They can't even touch me. I can't tell, guys. I think my EU is getting a bit big. It might be. Look, hey, move that up. Eh, darn. I mean, it's not gonna save me, but it's annoying. And boom, there we go. See, they never had a chance. There goes their last ship, and I win. You need to repair as well. Set a course for Coralum. You can uh, stick around there. You also set a course for Coralum. So we invade Coralum. We lost one guy, and I think that's enough to push on to Pegasus. All ships. Uh, tell you. Okay, that's, that's fine. We'll just load it up with the uh, improvements that it's missing. Now with this, they have a single planet left, just Pegasus, and it'd be nice if I could convince them to uh, make peace. Seems far. Alright, you don't want to give me it? That's fine. I will destroy you. And your entire civilization. I will wipe you from the stars. If you cannot understand that's what's about to happen, that's on you. Just pay a bit of that, you know? And this is much quicker to uh, get into sorts of things Settled up, even if, uh, right. Forwards we go. Now, I don't think the pilgrims will be able to, the, uh, Baldur's will be able to move through here anymore. Like, actually they might, because they only have a ceasefire. So I'll have to do some troops ready there just, like, in case, I guess. But, overall it shouldn't be that much of a problem. Vortex! This, this is good. Wait for everyone to make their move. I can see it coming guys. My bloodlust is growing. Soon the pilgrims will be wiped. Why? Well, they did have a ship left out after all. Still don't know why the cravers aren't called call this dead, but whatever. Not worried about it too much. We uh, wiped out their ships. Quantum processing has been completed. Zeturbia has better stuff, and we'll like those improvements. Attack! Finish them off once and for all. 
this will be the end of the pilgrims. Now, will you accept peace? No. All right. Your loss. All ships invade. Pegasus has fallen. Pilgrims have been destroyed. With that completed, <coughs> there's one more faction. A large barren planet. I'll switch that to science. Small general. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine too. Load up the improvements that it doesn't have at the moment. Basically everything we've done before. Nothing out there that's unusual, particularly. And with them gone, can we make peace with the Vultures? Will you accept the ceasefire? Will you give me any planets? No. You seem to think they have the upper hand. Silly, but that's what they think. We'll just have to disabuse them of this notion of superiority. There we go. Our planetary space is secured once again. And now, let's see. Well, first off, which was the planet with the sensor platform? That was Sable, right? Now they have the platform of YS. The platform of the silly names. I'm like, YS is not... Alright, we should stock these guys up with all the improvements they need to finish. So they'll be at that for a while. But hey, we finished off the Pilgrims. Now we have to finish off the other Pilgrims. We'll pay out for that sensory platform. Just get that out of the way right quick. Now that we've finished off that pil those pilgrims, we can hit the vultures. Everything we got. And then perhaps they will be willing to seek the peace they would not have agreed to otherwise. Another faction has been destroyed. And as you can see, we have finished the, the sensor platform. Additional happiness, additional HP, and XP for that system. No. I'm not giving you things for free. Go find someone else. Another ship to uh, wipe out single blow. Easy as pie. And not sure what I can do about the cravers. I don't think I can actually do anything about the cravers. Now then. Start sending some ships up to uh, lay siege to their worlds. Bring the pain upon them and show them just what they got themselves into. I regret nothing. Attack. Another singular vessel. On your own. Foolish week.
the mistake you'll make for the last time. Well, we did lose one ship, but... Meanwhile, we have put these three planets under siege. So, all in all, it's pretty good, I'd say. So, of course, Gamma, and... let's see what else is there. War is going very well now. Destroyed some guys. Well, we destroyed our other opposing faction, which leaves only the Orange Pilgrims and the Vultures. I probably have to be careful because I'm sure the Orange Pilgrims will attack us at some point. But for now, we're good. Also, we finished Entangled Systems. Better bullets, better armor, better pizza, Papa John's. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to. Well, oh dear, they broke our deal. Whatever shall we do? Almost clicked on that thing again, you know, the, uh... The thing, the, uh... Yeah, words. I'm going to click on the intern button again. Hopefully they don't take too, too long to get up to where they need to go. Because we've got to start invading their systems, force them to the negotiating table. There's no other way to do it, except by force they will not accept any peace. They do not believe in peace, only a war. My people are pretty happy, you know? Nothing to worry about. Sun's shining bright in the sky. Birds are chirping in the trees. Nobody can hear the overpowering sound of the gunfire from other planets. And I suppose we should check here every once in a while just to make sure they aren't dropping like Oh my gosh, so many ships! Like what happened last time. So that itself was not a fun experience to go through as far as I would consider fun in any sense of the word. Besides, you know, that is for friends who do stuff together. Yeah, I think we know how this one's gonna go. We lost one ship, they lost two. Where are ships over here? Oh, that's just like scout ship. That's nothing to worry about. Actually, that repair won't do anything, so let's not bother. Just blow them out of the water. There we go. Planetary space has been secured.
is probably really just a waiting game for us to shuttle our ships to the other side of the galaxy so we can hit the vultures where it hurts. Just like I said we were going to do a couple minutes ago. Aren't I so eloquent in my execution of commentary on what I'm actually doing and why I'm doing it? Why I believe that I'm the greatest empire that will ever live. Greatest player that will ever play the game. I know, I'm awesome. Give me some more time. More ships. Yay. Fire everything. What do you got? Medium range beam, long range missiles. Yeah, sure, let's just auto it. We've gotten a lot more ships than I was expecting. That was eight. Oh, because they included some other fleet. Alright. When they ran away, I guess, or I blew them up. I'm not sure. Loop us. Work on that stuff. Cephas, need you to make more of these. Need more ships. Links. Oops. Work on that. Gus. Same thing. Nared. Not the same thing, but close enough. We you got long range missiles, medium range, close range stuff. Right, so we'll do that, we'll do that. Put the offense, and we'll just fast through this battle because we know how it's going to turn out. People get blown up. It's pretty great. Nothing otherwise really interesting that I can talk about recently, you know. I haven't seen any movies because the movie theater in town is closed. Closed a while ago, actually. And just like, I guess they shelved the plants to finish it or something? I don't know. Haven't read any really good books recently. Just the same old, same old. Or Chow 6, another scout fleet, another actual fleet, medium range kinetics, long range missiles. Let's watch another battle, shall we? Because it's it's an enemy hero. You have to you have to give them the respect of seeing themselves destroyed. Here we go, we shoot them, they shoot us. I just want to win this battle because they have a hero and he must be taken down a notch. That's all there is to it, really.
Like, look, this should look nice, but we can't match the elegance of my own. Down the ship trips. Well, there's this kind of blocky thing. Regardless, we are spraying them down, you know? And there we go. That was fast. Once we got past the initial pull, once we got down the melee range, they basically evaporated, as tends to happen when you're using some kinetic weapons that are based on the melee range. I'm the guy to found the hero. Take that. Good, he's been injured. I possess quadrinks now. Buy whole stuff, generic supplies for more improve more capacity on my ships. And they want a ceasefire, and I'm going to refuse because I've come this far. I want something from them before I go and make peace. Prepare from here, grab some population, you know. You can head up to Kentaurus. You can head to Rigel. Rigel, sorry. You can head up to here. You can go up to Naos. Or Naos, I'm not actually sure how you pronounce that. This we have here is another fleet that serves to be just crushed with impunity as a scouting fleet. I mean, I mean, I'm not sure what else you'd expect from this kind of situation, but there you go. They have been wiped out. C'est la vie. Right? Something like that. And boom! There we go. What are you going to throw at me next, Vultures? What do you got? What do you got for me? Looking forward to seeing it. Nope. Okay. Thank you for antimatter and hydromel and everything. I appreciate it a lot. Well, we got another battle. Probably not going to win this one just with the sorts of forces that are up against us, but we will make a good run of it. I mean, the forces up against us and the fact that we, we came into this injured, but we appear to have won, so good on us. A ship. They've got a lot of missiles. Actually, using anti-missiles in that phase might be a bad idea. Right, so we're gonna win. That's obvious. Just, like, what do we lose? We lost a ship. Oh well. Get those set up to, uh... Right, I was gonna... Upgrade my Habsburg class to take advantage of the upgrades in technology. Alright, there we go. A bit more upgrades for our vessels. Gotta make them tougher to kill, you know? Gotta fight hard. Fighting up forward the steel through the wastelands of Ramoho. The scattered souls of Fida, blah 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 blah. You know. Invade! Centaurus is ours!
and invade Rigel. We have two more planets that have been brought into our galactic sphere. Uh, three replication plants, I feel is not the best here. Five from type. Actually, it probably doesn't matter, I guess. Hyperscale farming on a desert planet is not smart, no. Neither is this. We do have a problem because, like, the middle planet there is depleted, but that should not save us from making wise decisions. We can help it. Load up with everything they're missing. Or with everything that's been destroyed as a result of the invasion, that's also a distinct possibility. Whoops. <laughs> that's a time my fault. Tech Park. Hyperscale Farms. No. That. Farm. No. I want that. Once again, all this stuff that we've lost. More planets for me, always a good thing. And perhaps now they'd be willing to talk, to engage in a diplomatic dialogue. What do I want anyway? Uh, we want Neos. Maybe Akamar, if I can get it. They are not willing to agree to that. So, the war goes on. I'm not... Whoops. Paid for something that was going to be done anyway. Whoops. It happens. Overall though, we have managed to fight them back. Take what we can. Nothing to be lost. Oh, and we finished something. Yep, my boy was. We finished something. Oh, also, are you, are you like stranded there or what? It seems like you're stranded there. Ah, we have four units of Monday in Arthrex. There's only that we have taken. Vultures want peace. Oh, so we finished pre schism artifacts. Quantum devices for faster engines. I will approach that later. Do I want to make peace or do I want to break the alliance again? I mean, we got him on the run, right? Finish the husk of knowledge. That will complete everything there is to complete in this system. And Arga will be able to give us all its delicious bonuses. Sweet, sweet bonuses. Also, uh, should die. There we go. You will repair. You will repair. You will head up to Akamai. You will head up to Naos. Also head up to Ukta. I'm going to re leave this alliance. I refuse your offer. Not because I don't like you, of course. I, I like you. But... I like, well, basically, I like you, but I have the chance to get their capital, and if I have the chance, I have to take it, right? It'd be insane for me to refuse this offer when it is delivered to my doorstep, like this. Who knows when I'll get the opportunity again?
I will not allow the vault... Well, I know when I'll get the opportunity again. That's beside the point. Basically, I have the vultures right where I want them. I'm not going to lose it now. Well, trade deal broken. They don't like me anymore. The ancient wonder that crowned Arga has been restored. Thus, the knowledge has been completed. Excellent. Well, broke our other deal. Sure, we can do that. I don't mind having some virtual artifacts. More ships! Husk of knowledge. Plus 23 happiness, plus 2 people, plus 10 signs per person. Very nice. This, alright. Go, go, go! Let's see this fight. Wish to see this grand and glorious battle for the future of our race. I mean, it's not actually that important because I'm making more ships all the time. Nothing they have can equal what I can throw at them. But I need to see the battle. Cause I want to see what this dang gravity well thing does. If I can, anyway. And so now we shoot it out. Some other ships fall quickly, some don't. That's just how it goes. Here we go. Oh, that's how it works. That's cool. So I guess we like generate a gravity well where their ships are and that uh, slows down their weapons, making them do less damage. I don't actually know, I'm just kind of assuming here based on the based on the word gravity well and what just happened. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> we wiped them out, lost only two ships. More melee for our hero. You may want to consider like sweeping around through there. Now we invade Naos, take it over, lost five ship, five troops. They can head down to Cancer to replenish. Replication plant is good, Arctic thing. Okay. This plan is set up well, I approve. Now for some money, teching up and what have you. Alright, well with that I think we'll call it quits here. If you enjoyed, feel free to like, favorite, subscribe, it means a lot to know the people who are watching content and want to see more of it. Regardless of whether you actually do. Uh, that's all for me. I'm Asgrath, and see you in the next part.